<laughs> All right, here we go. I'm glad you're here. It occurs to me, looking at the two of you, I have got to start by asking how this marriage took place. How well, that's the softball question. Wait, you know, what, what does that mean, looking at the two of you? How did this marriage take place? Yeah. What does that mean? It means that she's all nervous. It's live television, and uh, she don't know what to say. She just wants to, she wants to blurt out, are you a homo? You know, but uh, she's she, got to yeah, beat well, around yeah, the bush. Looking at the two of you, like, you look really funny. I don't know if this is a real marriage. Looking at the two of you, your husband, I mean, you look like a really hot piece of ass. <laughs> your husband's wearing shin guards, <laughs> big metal shin guards, and he's dressed like a, I don't know what he's dressed like. He's got whiter skin than you. He's got a nose that's way too small for his face. Yeah, I think that Johnny and Sawyer just insulted. Yeah, I mean... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You look like friggin' Pinocchio. <laughs> you don't look real. <laughs> yeah. You look like... First of all, looking at that film and then looking at you, you don't look anything like what you look like in that film. Yeah. I'm not sure I'm talking to Michael Jackson. Is Again. it live or is it memory? Yeah. Let me guess that it was not over miniature golf and a, and a hot dog someplace. <laughs> Like she met her husband that way. Yeah. What the hell is that? A retard. <laughs> She's Sally <laughs> Jesse Raphael. Well, they can't even ask a real question. Yeah. She should give him a, a fingerprint test. See if it's him. Start. When was the dating? When was the dating? There was no dating. <laughs> Stupid ass. I had to get married quick. The press was all over me, you dumb bitch. Notice I got married after the scandal. <laughs> yeah, like a day after. <laughs> Stupid ass. I got PR people paying me to think of things like this. They tell me what to do. Yeah. Well, we first met. She was seven years old, and I was 17. Seven years old. Yeah, I thought she was so poor. Oh. And I was 17. I was 17 years old. This was in Las Vegas. She used to come and see my show all the time. We had the only family show on the strip. This is the Jackson Five. And um, she used to come as a little girl and sit right up front. She came quite often. She came with a lot of bodyguards. And had you stayed in touch with her over Sure, here? sure. And then she'd come backstage. And I'd you know, talk, say hi. Then she'd come again. And I thought she was sweet and loving. And I said, And who first talked about marriage? We didn't stay in touch. We didn't That's stay in touch. That's a more manly voice. Yeah. He, he, he had go. She's a hot little piece of ass. Did you see her sitting there in that little dress? Me? Mm. 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 Once upon a time, I met a little girl. She was only seven years old. Oh. Old. Seventeen years old. I was seventeen years old. <laughs> <laughs> These boys, they they follow me into the bed, and they follow me into the bathroom. These boys. They love me. They love me. Stop. But what are they doing in your house? <laughs> I mean, you know, where are their parents? How did they get there? Man, what's going on? I mean, I had a million questions after that interview. That interview didn't do anything except help sell albums. Raise more questions. Yeah, it raised more questions. He's <laughs> the biggest celebrity in the world, but he doesn't get anybody there to keep people away from him. Yeah, I mean, somehow that gate at Neverland is open all the yeah. time. And, and, and Diane Sawyer is, like, afraid to ask him stuff. I guess she thinks he's better than she is, because like, she's like, you know, she's sitting there, and she's like... Excuse me, but I get, looking at the two of you, yeah, yeah. I have to ask, how did this marriage... Just get right into it. Right look, into. Michael, you're a bizarre-looking cat. Yeah, you don't look yeah. like you like girls. Live What's television. <laughs> this is the last interview you're going to get with a guy. You go, hey, what are you, a homo? Wow. Yeah, that's it. Boom. Yes. Let's answer the question. I was 17 years old. But I had these boys in the house. Okay, you had boys in the house. How did the boys get to your house? Explain how they get in the house. I invite them. Yeah, and where are their parents? Why are they not supervised? Uh, they're busy. Uh, they're busy with the, 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 the money or something. I don't know what they're busy with. Just count the 20 million I give them. <laughs> Just like 
first of all, it was a, it was, it was an infomercial, you know, more or less. He didn't say those words, but it was an infomercial. It was an advertisement. Well, you know, even, you know, Barbara Walters, when she does this stuff, it's under the guise of entertainment. They yeah. don't say this is an NBC or an ABC news. news feed. Yeah, right. They say it's an entertainment show that I can deal with. Don't tell me Diane Sawyer is some kind of newswoman. She's Sally Jesse Raphael. <laughs> you want to say? Go ahead. No, you, you can say. say. Mm -hmm. You have a good number. Well, you said you were going to say it. Our first argument <laughs> here on this hour. Um, who, who proposed? I mean, how did marriage actually get... I don't really remember what was... Uh, I think it was little boy's idea. <laughs> <laughs> they were in the bed, didn't they? That's right. With some kids. Yeah, the bathroom at the time. Well, at first, this is what happened. When she was 18, I used to tell my lawyer, John Branca, do you know Lisa Marie Presley? He'd go, well, I represent her mother. I go, well, can you get in touch with her? I think she's really cute. He'd laugh every time. He goes, I'll do my best. That's what he'd say. Then he'd come back. I said, well, did you find out? He said, no, there's nothing. So I would worry him about this all the time. The next thing I... <laughs> Oh, boy. A real schnoozer. Let's get to the boys. I don't need to hear a fairy tale. <laughs> Tell me to you. Notice there's a picture on a, a magazine cover where she's married, which really tore me to pieces. When he saw that she was married to another guy, he got crazy. You know what I'm sitting here thinking of? Mm. I'm thinking of that last interview he did with Oprah where he claimed that he and Brooke Shields had a relationship. And then later, of course, Brooke Shields denied that there was ever any real relationship. I'd ask him about that. So how are you supposed to believe this when you lied about that? So how is it that... that how is it that Lisa Marie Presley's into this? Like, what's I her story? I can't figure this one out. Me either. We really love... You, you a skeptic. <laughs> well, that was supposed to be me. I really did. And what, what was the countdown to your marriage? Tell me who said the word marriage. I first. didn't see it. I, when? Where? When, on where? On the telephone. Have you oh, yeah, on the telephone. <laughs> first asked me. Yeah, I, I, I called up and said, you want to get married? Tee-hee-hee-hee. Tee-hee. Tee-hee. for child molestation. You want to get married? Tee-hee. <laughs> it don't look good that I'm not married. <laughs> I think it's love. You want to get married? <laughs> We're dating now four months. She's got such a nice deep voice. <laughs> we were dating for four months. Bumped <laughs> in a prenuptial agreement. No, wait, I gotta get to it. Wait a minute. Yeah, we dumped somewhere. Yeah, I'm jumping. Because I want to get to some good stuff about boys. Reaction to this marriage has been across the spectrum everything from astonishment to delight to suspicion that it was somehow too convenient. Yeah. Lisa, did, did you ask... Lisa, do you know what a beard is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> something she has more of than I do. <laughs> Michael, about the charges. Did the two of you talk about the impact of the marriage on the allegations? Absolutely not. He called... I was in touch with him to the whole process of this charges going on. I was talking to him when he disappeared. I was actually supposed to go to San Juan, Puerto Rico when he left and disappeared, and I got a call that he wasn't going to be there, and I was actually part of the whole thing with him, but talking to him on the phone. So did I didn't say to him, are they true? No, I didn't. No, I actually did not. Pretty tight relationship. I want to take a minute here, and I'm going to come back to the marriage. No, sorry. He, yeah, he went on and on and on about it, so I didn't really have to say, are the allegations true? It was, you know, ah! on the phone, you know, and over and over. Just constant, yeah. Well, because I know that you've wanted to express similar sentiments for a long time, I want to ask a few things about the charges. But first, I want to establish for the viewers here, there are no ground rules. You have said to me you are not afraid of any questions. So wanted that understood by everybody before we proceed. She's just reminding him of what the ground rules are. She's zoning out. I agree to that. <laughs> hey, what am I doing here? What was I asking? Oh, crazy. <laughs> I'm not going to answer that. I have to She spends more time explaining the rules. Just ask the questions. What are they? What is this, a game? Well, 
she's trying to remind him what the deal is. She's even embarrassed. She's embarrassed she has to ask these questions. I don't know why we have to, you know, this is like that portion of the Academy Awards where the accountants come out. Yeah, just ask him. <laughs> Do you like boys? She's worse than Judge Ito. She's going to drag this thing out. I think I want to begin by making sure that the terms are clear. You have said that you would never harm a child. I want to be specific as I can. Did you ever, as this young boy said you did, did you ever sexually engage, fondle, have sexual contact with this child or any other child? No, never, ever. I could never harm a child or anyone. It's not in my heart. It's not who I am. And it's not what I meant. I'm not even interested in that. And what do you think should be done to someone who does that? To someone who does that, what I think it should be done, gee. Cut his nuts off. No. <laughs> Let him pay twenty million. Yeah. Yeah. Right. He should have to pay twenty million dollars. Go on. Get his foot out and give me his rose. Yeah, okay. grab a chipu on the phone. I think they need help. In some kind of way. You know? How about the police? But they should not be put in jail. Oh, oh. Right. he's very upset at child molesters. He they should be given a medal. Yeah. I would say if someone molests a child, they should have their nuts cut off. He says they, they should get some help. They should get help? Is that, and that's a question. He's asking. Is uh, it uh, they should get help? Is that severe enough? Help from him. <laughs> Photographs, though. How was there enough information from this boy about those kinds of things? The police photograph that, that, that they took of me. Yes. There was nothing that matched me to those charges. There was nothing. nothing. There was nothing that concurred. That's nothing. why I'm sitting here talking nothing. to you today. Every, there was not one iota of information that was found that could connect me. So when we've heard the charges, there was a marking nothing. of some kind. No marking. Marking. No. Why did you Why am I still here then? You're not going to ask me about that, are you? Sorry about the marking. Oh. No. Mm. Marie wants to pipe up about his marking. I see his penis. <laughs> <laughs> Bigger than mine. <laughs> <laughs> ask me about it. Yeah. What do you want to know? It's snake. It bends to the left. Well, that's why I didn't tell you for your answer. She seems to want to answer that. Yeah, let's ask her about it. All right, you want to talk about it? The point is, is that when that finally got concluded that there was no matchup, then it was printed this big as opposed to how big it was, what the matchup was. She's talking about his ween? No, 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 no. no. She's saying that the, the uh, information about there not being a match was this big, mm. where the headline... Oh. Was accused oh, with it. You're a lot smarter than I am. I thought you were saying it, was, it wasn't that big. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it's just the whole thing was weird. It didn't prove anything, and it just allowed ABC to run an hour commercial for history. The new album. I'm not saying the guy's a child molester. I really don't know what went on. I give everybody... Well, nobody knows. Yeah, nobody knows. You didn't get to uh, hear anything in court. Allegations were made. If I could have interviewed the guy, did. you would have known. Because I would have I would have kicked his ass if he didn't answer the question. But she really didn't answer any questions. I mean, she didn't, she didn't, she didn't ask any anything. I'm saying, wait a second. What are young kids doing in your yeah, house? So what was your relationship with this boy? You actually knew this boy. Yeah. There were reports that you were... How'd you meet him? to meet him every night and spending right. the night with him in bed, How'd you... sleeping with him every night. Is that true? I mean, don't tell me how you met Lisa Marie. Tell me how you met that boy. <laughs> and why is he traveling with you? Why did you invite him into the bed? Yeah, why are these why boys are you... watching you go to the bathroom? What is the whole, you know, I can understand, you know, spending time with children. Why do they have to sleep in your room? Yeah. You have a huge estate. Uh, uh, look, interview over. <laughs> <laughs> I'm out of here. I don't like you. I don't like ABC. I don't want anything to do with it. You're not mad. And how do you let these children throw you out of the bed, Lisa no. Marie? Instead, the interview says, um, okay, the ground rules. Uh, <laughs> I just want to re review the rules, okay? 